Okay, we've got two problems here. The first problem is that we're about to push this new page to production. We are currently need to add another scroll bar functionality and it's going to be launched at the end of today. Everybody is really wanted to have that functionality out and I am the winner of this task. <laughs> the person who is chosen. I am going to be a superhero to save the world and I get this thing done. I had no idea how to do it, <laughs> just like a good developers do. I really hope that I can concise everything and you guys can still get some value out of this vlog. So I'll learn and grow as I make more vlogs in the future. Before we diving into the problem, let's talk about gig version control, which is super important. I love using iTurn and the reason for it is because it has like highly customizations on the themes and colors. Obviously, a lot of people like to use the iTurn too because it's, as you can see, I can do a lot of different like layouts. So usually I would have maybe like two or three repos running in the back and it also has a lot of different shortcuts that you can can program into your iTerm in the lazy people's ideal world. I think our PM just messaged us to make sure that someone is picking up that ticket and I was just telling him, hey, I got you. When you are creating a brand new ticket, you always wanted to create a new branch that is from master you want to do something like gig checkout and again um i turn does help me to have all these shortcuts so when i typed get checkout i don't type the whole thing i just do get co um and then when you create a new branch i usually just call it feature and then the website ticket blah 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 i just created a new branch that i am going to work on it and i also like to separate all different commits based off how much that i progress if something goes really 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 wrong i can always roll back to the commit that i needed to commit back to you and feel good about myself even if i messed up Taking a little morning break. Um, I just had my daily stand up this morning. Just gotta finish that functionality by the end of today. Not a big deal. I can totally do it, except that I have no idea how to do it. But we'll figure it out. There's this theory about eating the most ugly frog. Um, I like the idea of using my brain in the morning, and I actually feel like I'm way smarter when I was. Um, tackling problems, especially like more logical problems in the morning and my creative juice kind of comes in at really late at night so I like to do my editing and more creative stuff in the afternoon and later in the evening. Also obsessed with um, a fall season. got honey, I've got my coffee. This honestly really helps. It keeps the coffee hot and steamy. Also, I'm getting all milk because that's my favorite type of milk. It's just like millions and millions of steps that you have to do to make a coffee. I've also got this, um, you know, form so then I can make my coffee a little foamier. Just a little bit better. Cheers. Mmm. I definitely need that cake. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the problem. We need to implement this scroll bar feature, which is kind of tricky because I have no idea how to do it. But I have some ideas of how I could implement it. So what I use is tons and tons of Googling and looking at stack overflow. I did 
some research on actually having or implementing this scrolling to view functionality. Slightly remember that I had a personal project where I actually incorporated the scroll to view features into my website or into someone else's website. It might cause some issues with um, scroll to view doesn't work on mobile Safari. So I use this site which is called caniuse.com and I google scrolling to view um, and see if it's browser compatible. As a developer, you don't always know your answers to a problem. You always have problems and the way that you know that you can do it is when you're asking yourself, um, let's just use a Venn diagram to figure this out. Am I in this you know, comfort zone where I am 100% in and I know exactly how to solve this problem? Or am I at this stage that I do not know 100% like how to solve this problem? You're kind of in the middle of the gap of like, I kind of know how to do it, I'm not so sure, there's challenges, and ooh. This is a perfect place that you want it to be because you get to challenge yourself, you get to find out the unknown, and you get to be the hero that you always wanted to be to save the world. I've been coding for a while. I'm just, I'm just hungry at this point. A lot of times when I'm at work, I don't really care what I eat, honestly. I'm really in the zone. I'm really in the zone. Definitely adding sriracha to my pasta because I'm basic. Mm. This is really good. Cheers. Ooh, it seems like we might have a problem here. Oh shoot, I think. So as you can see that this is all of these um, updates from localizations and it's gonna create a little bit of conflicts because um, it's a little different than um, what we have. It's some of the translations are still in progress and we shouldn't be committing those. And then for the ones that are already translated, sometimes it comes back with different languages. So it's an ongoing process. As you can see, these little green dots are the actual like new added um, changes that you have. Um, you can actually like commit all the changes here quickly. Oh, why is this giving me this thing? Ta-da! So these are the changes that you already committed and I just want to make sure that like the numbers are the same and I don't mess this up. Next thing I would need to do is, hey, guess that is, what's there, and get add, let's add all of them, and get commit, smiling, translations, or I should say localization. So after this is done, you can see that other changes are up to date. I would like to run some tests to make sure that it's working locally before I push to upstream. Okay, so the next thing that I would like to do is pushing to upstream. So what I need to do is get push and it'll tell you, hey, you need to push it to upstream. The first time when you push it to upstream, it needs you to set your upstream to be able to push it. and. It is smart enough to tell you what to say, so you just basically say the same thing that they want you to say and you would push all the stuff to upstream. And the next thing is going to be going into your repo on upstream. Good to go and I would just have to click the submit button. I decided to show you guys a little bit about my work vlog as a engineer and especially things that I've struggled and things that I encounter every day in and day out and I just decided maybe you guys would enjoy this little chaotic vlog of mine um, for today and just give you a little bit of my update and a little bit of what I've been up to lately. What's the, what's the name of the movie again? Let's, I'm Jason. Let's cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 No, no, just some people. Please. <laughs> you get to control whose names are whose? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. cheers.